Symbolic links in the Windows file system. So if you're a Mac user, or especially if you're a Linux user, you're probably already familiar with the concept of linking. Uh, there are two types of links in those file systems, hard links and soft links. We're not going to talk about the difference between those two right now. This tip is really all about simply pointing out that linking exists in Windows if you're using the NTFS file system. Let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to run a, an administrative command prompt. Uh, you may not need to do this depending on what you're setting up, but um, I do for the example that I'm going to run because it's an example I do all the time for myself. So the concept of links is simply this. There's a difference between a file and its entry in the directory. A file is really nothing more than a collection of bits and bytes on a disk. A directory entry or a file listing, a listing in, in Windows File Explorer or in especially here in the Command Prompt, is just a pointer to where all that data lives. There's nothing wrong with having multiple pointers to the same file which means that you could have the same file or the same folder show up in multiple folders in multiple places. Here's what that means. So as our example, here is my OneDrive folder. And you can see it has some stuff in it. Here is the root of my C drive, which also has some stuff in it. Pretty typical stuff for a Windows 10 home installation. What we're going to do is type mklink slash D, because we're making a link for a directory, OneDrive, and then the full path of my OneDrive folder. So what it's done is it's created a symbolic link. Well, what does that mean? Well, our OneDrive folder is still there, right, at users Leon OneDrive. But if we take a look at the root, there's a symlink D, a symbolic link to the OneDrive folder. And in fact, if I do a DIR just on OneDrive, the contents of the OneDrive folder are showing up there as well. So what we have is two different places called OneDrive that each essentially are gateways to the same information. Like I said when I started, the idea here is not to get particularly detailed on exactly what links do or how they exist or why they exist, but to make it known that they do exist in NTFS file systems. There are symbolic links, there are junctions, there are hard links. And for those of you that understand the difference and know them from other operating systems, it's actually a really handy thing to do. In my case specifically, and the reason that this particular example resonates with me, is I prefer to have my OneDrive folder, my Dropbox folder, my Google Drive folder at the root of my C drive, rather than asking each of those tools to move the folder from whatever their default location is to the root, I just set up a symbolic link so I can access those folders either way. I can access my OneDrive folder as C colon backslash OneDrive, or I can access it in my home folder, C colon backslash user slash Leon slash OneDrive. Either way works. I think you'll find that it can make for some very interesting and very flexible ways of accessing both folders and files. Anyway, hope you find that helpful. I'm Leo Notenboom. This is AskLeo.com. Thank you.